Septic Tank TV with another live broadcast. How do you make a soakaway pit? So hopefully by the end of this, <laughs> you'll know how to make one. So I'm going to get straight into it, right? All right, so, oh, where's my green pen gone? All right, let's get my green pen, I'm back. All right, so let's say that's your grass, okay? So, hmm. Depending on the depth of the outlet pipe will depend on the depth of the soak away pit. So let me show you what I mean. On those big onion tanks, so let me just show you what I mean. Let's say you've got a big onion tank, right? A big onion tank. And let's say the, the soak away pipe is here. Then obviously the soak away pit is going to be that deep, okay? If you've got a low profile, shallow septic tank, then the soak away pit is gonna be a lot shallower. And that's why I love um, uh, these low profile septic tanks. So let me just give you a quick example, right? So let's say the septic tank is here, look. All right, so let's say that's your septic tank. All right, and, that is your, and that's your pipe. Um, that's your pipe going to your soak away. You literally, all right, you just dig a little pit, something like that, okay? So that's basically how to do it. Just dig a little pit in the ground. There you go. I'm not the best artist in the world, but <laughs> you get the point. So look, so water comes into the tank. It fill, The tank fills up with water, right? And then the water will go down this pipe here. All right, so there's various things once you can, once you've dug your hole for your soak away pit. Obviously the water's gonna go into the pit now, at the moment, and this is what took me quite a few years to work out, right? At the moment, you've got 100% cavity there. I know that may seem pretty logical, but you'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. At the moment, you've got 100% space or cavity, right? 100% of air in here. Now, if you fill that hole back in with gravel or sand, right, you go from 100% Cavity, cavity, to 5% cavity. <clears throat> it took, took me quite a while to get my head around when I first worked that out, but it makes logical sense, because if you think you've got a hole, right, and then you filled it back in with soil, you wouldn't have any cavity, would you, right? When you fill it in with gravel, there is some space in between each bit of gravel, but it roughly equates to, once you fill that hole in with gravel, you're left with about only 5% cavity. So you've dug this massive hole that was 100% empty, you filled it back in, now it's full up again, right? So the reason I'm saying this to you is because if you want to take advantage of the hole, right, then you've got a few options, right? You can put builder's rubble in there. People used to throw bricks and bicycles and all kinds of other things into there because there'd be so much space in between the bricks that were lying on side of each other and in between the bicycle and old bed springs and stuff like that. I'm not saying you should do that, but I'm just explaining why they did it, right? And so when they did that, it probably retained like 40, 50% of its original cavity. So that's one thing you can do. You can fill it up with gravel if you want to, but it defeats the object of, of, of digging a soak away pit, right? What I would do personally, right? Modern technology has allowed us now to use something called septic tank soak away crates. Now, some people get confused and think these are rainwater crates. You can't use rainwater crates for a septic tank, okay? So these are septic tank soak away crates. They're different, okay? The membrane's different. So the, you, you fill your hole up with these septic tank soak away crates, right? And what is amazing is, instead of going down to a 5% cavity, you actually retain 95% of the original cavity. And that's why septic tank soak away crates are so amazing. All right. And so then the water will fill up here and then it'll nicely just percolate and soak away into the soil. So that is a really simple way how to make a soak away pet. Okay. 
And that's an amazing product to use if you're building a septic tank and soak away pit, uh, a soak away pit, sorry. So there you go, I hope, you, I hope that's helped you. So that's how to make a soak away pit. That's how to make the perfect soak away pit, right? Use septic tank, soak away crate. So there you go. This, you can't tell me you're not getting your money's worth of free help and advice off me. And I love giving it to you. And if you want to see loads more free help, free advice, tips, just go to Septic Tank TV, type it into Google and you'll see more of me. Or if you want to speak to me, just go to septictank.co.uk, give me a ring or visit my site. You'll see Septic Tank soak away crates on my site and loads of other amazing things for septic tanks, right? So listen, thanks very much for watching this uh, live broadcast today and I'll speak to you soon.